Hello class 5. Welcome to your English language class children. I hope you all are fine. Okay. So in our previous class we were doing adjective and kinds of adjectives. Isn't it? So this is chapter number 8. We were doing adjectives and kinds of adjectives. And I have explained to you what do you mean by adjective and the different kinds of adjectives also. And today in this class we will do exercise number uh, that is uh, page number 47. Okay, page number 4747. So open your book at page number 47. This is page number 47. And the name of the chapter is adjective and its kinds. Isn't it? So uh, in the previous class we have learned about possessive adjectives. And what is the difference between sorry possessive uh, pronoun and possessive adjectives. Isn't it? And now I think it is clear to you. You have uh, gone through the chapter whatever we have learned in the previous class. So, I think children, you all are ready for the, to do the exercise. Okay. We will do together. So, take a pencil in your hand and an eraser also. So, that we can do the moment. Uh, we will do together. Okay. I'll explain. I'll help you. I'll guide you to uh, do the exercise. You understand properly with full comprehension. You will do with me. Okay. So, open your book at page number 4740. Seven. This is your English language book. Isn't it? Basic English grammar and composition. This is the name of your book. Isn't it? Let's get started. Okay. I'll read the question for you. Uh, state the adjectives and the noun in this adjectives. So you have to uh, find out and state the adjectives and the nouns in this sentence. So, in the sentences you will find, the sentences are given. So, you will find adjectives and the noun. Okay. So, you, what you have to do is two columns are given for adjective one column and the another one for nouns. Here below this you have to write the adjectives in each of the sentences. And then in this column you have to write the noun it refers to. Okay. Is it clear to you? So, let us start. First one is, I am reading it for you loudly, you will also read, okay. See, number one, Udit was the, the elder brother of Karan. Udit was the elder brother. So, which one is adjective here? Elder. And which noun it is referring here? And the noun is brother. Okay. So, below adjective, you will write elder, E L D. Elder and then below nouns you will write brother. B R O T H E R. Brother. Like this. Is it clear? Elder brother. Okay. Done. Next one. The fox is a clever animal. So, we know that uh, what is an adjective describing what? Here the word clever is describing the noun animal. Isn't it? So, which one is adjective here? Clever. So, write down C-L-E-V-E-R. Clever. And the noun is animal. A-N-I-M-A-L. Animal. This way you have to write. Clever is adjective and it is... Uh, who is clever? The animal is clever. Isn't it? Okay. Fox means the fox. The fox is a clever animal. Done. Number three. All the flowers look pretty. Which one is adjective here? Which one is adjective? See, all the flowers. I am talking about all the flowers. Here, see children. All is also adjective and how the flower looks like pretty. Pretty. So two adjectives are there. So you will write all, comma, P-R-E-T-T-Y. Pretty. 
then which object uh, which noun uh, it refers to we are talking about what are pretty flowers are pretty so flower is the noun this way all comma pretty then flower okay next one number 4 they have enough time to complete their homework so which one is adjective here enough so underline enough and then what do they what do they have enough they have time okay they have enough time so the noun will be time and the adjective will be enough e n o u g h enough this way next one number 5 whose gift is this whose gift so whose will be the adjective so w h o s e and which one is noun here gift g i f t gift isn't it done next i read the first chapter of the science book i read the first so first will be the adjective f i r s t first first what chapter so chapter is the noun okay i am writing your one one noun you can add more also like your chapter and again science book book is a noun isn't it you can write give comma in the previous uh, sentences also you can add write more nouns uh, uh, place is not uh, the space is not available here so but you just write down the noun just uh, the noun that the adjective is referring okay some people number 7 so some is the adjective here people is the noun p e o p l e some is the adjective people is the noun okay write it right people under nouns then comes number 8 these notebooks are theirs these notebooks so for which one is adjective here these t a t s e this and the noun is notebook write down write down n o t e note b w o k book notebook clear then number 9 which way did raman go which now here which one is adjective which w h i c h which then way is the noun okay then raman is also noun but we'll, we are mentioning only one noun so way here okay now next one there is a little food left for the puppy so there is a little a little what is the exa- uh, adjective here a little a l i t t l e little and what which one is noun here uh, food f o o d food what is a little there here a little food is left so a little then food okay now come to number uh, 11 Rabi is his best friend. Now here adjective is best, isn't it? Best. B E S T. Best is adjective and noun is friend. F R I E N D. Friend. Clear? Next one, number twelve. Those mangoes are sour. So mangoes are sour. So which one is adjective here? S O U R. That we are talking about what? Uh, and those also two adjective those mangoes okay so you will write both those and sar t a j o s e those and sar both you will write okay understood you write those also and sar also okay those and sar both you write see i uh, underline both those and sar and the noun is mangoes isn't it we are talking about the mangoes so mangoes m a n g o e s mangoes mangoes will write under noun clear then comes number 13 it was a stormy day it was a stormy day how was the day stormy 
सो स्टॉर्मी विल बी एस टी ओ आर एम वाई इस एक्जेक्टिव एंड डे इज नाउन डन डे इज नाउन ओके एंड स्टॉर्मी इज एक्जेक्टिव सो यू राइट एक्जेक्ट स्टॉर्मी अंडर एक्जेक्टिव कलम एंड देन डे अंडर नाउन कलम देन नंबर फोर्टीन इज देर आर ट्वेंटी बॉयज इन माई क्लास हाउ मेनी बॉयज ट्वेंटी बॉयज सो ट्वेंटी टी डब्ल्यू ई एन टी वाई ट्वेंटी इज द एक्जेक्टिव ट्वेंटी बॉयज बॉयज इज नाउ ट्वेंटी बॉयज ओके देन द लास्ट वन फिफ्टीन a uh, few visitors came to see the cricket match so few visitors so few is adjective f e w few and the noun is visitor v i s i t o r s visitors so few visitors done so we have completed this exercise and children i hope you have done along with me isn't it and it is very simple you could have done uh, by yourself also but i have guided you so that uh, you will not commit any mistake okay so uh, we will wind up the class here for today and in the next class we will do number b we have done page number 47 exercise number a and then in the next video we will do exercise number 